Hey, this is Jerry from Bliss Studio, and in this particular tutorial, we're gonna use Unity's Poly Brush to create a cool little planet with prefabs. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. Here we are in Unity, and I wanna go ahead and create a cool little planet. But I'm gonna use Poly Brush to do that. So I've gone ahead and created a sphere with a green material attached to it. And I wanna use Poly Brush to then paint on prefabbed game objects. And to open up Poly Brush, let's go ahead and click on Window. You can go into Package Manager, and then if you type in Polybrush, you'll see that Polybrush is one of those options. Then go ahead and click Install, and there you go. Now to open up the Polybrush window, you'll go to Tools, and Polybrush window is an option there. I've gone ahead and opened it up, and I've docked it inside of my hierarchy. So the next thing I want to do is I have my sphere selected. I want to go ahead and use two of these tabs. The first one is the Sculpt Meshes tool. And I'm gonna use this to actually paint some terrain onto this game object, just to give it a little bit of terrain shape. Now, I have the brush and you can see that you can change the outer radius and you can also change the inner radius. So these represent the two circles of the brush size. And then you can also choose the brush strength. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start to click and drag and you can see how the mesh is now starting to be deformed to create kind of a terrain shape. Now I'm not gonna mess with this too much because I wanna get into the other parts. Now the next part that I wanna use is the scatter brush tool. And in the scatter brush tab, you'll have a bunch of different options. The brush options are exactly the same, but then we also have this palette at the bottom. Now I've gone ahead and created a planet palette, but if for you, if you wanna create your own individual palette or multiple palettes, you can click on the drop down here and you'll see add palette. Once you do that, it's going to add it to the poly brush data prefab palette option. Then you can go ahead and just name it whatever you want there but I've, I've set up my planet palette. Now I've gone ahead and created a few different game objects here that I'm gonna add to my palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in a couple plants. I'm also gonna drag in two rocks that I've set up and then also a few trees. Once you've dragged these in, you can select each of these game objects and you can determine the frequency of which that game object is gonna be painted. Then you can also choose a couple other options here. So we can have, you can change the scale on the X, Y, or Z axis, or if you want these to scale proportionally, you can choose uniform. And here I can have a range of the size of that particular game object. And then I can also choose a rotation. I like to do this at a Y axis of zero to 360. That way it'll be placed within a 360 degree rotation. And I'm gonna do that with all of these real quick, just so we have those same options. And also in this scale, this uniform scale slider, you can see that there's a range. So I can have a range from, so in this case of the grass, I'm gonna have 0.3 to 0.84, whatever that's gonna be. Let's do that on this one as well, 0.3 to 0.8, and then also a 360 rotation. I'm gonna do this on the rest of these, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have these game objects all set up, to add it to our brush, all we need to do is just click on the checkbox. So I have one of these game objects in my brush loadout currently, so I can paint with just that game object. So for me to paint it, I need to go ahead and select my sphere. Then once I start clicking, it's gonna place those onto the sphere. Now we do have the option here where we wanna avoid overlap, so you can choose to have that on or off. Now you can kind of see where these are fairly evenly placed, if I wanna have them a lot closer, I can go ahead and just uncheck overlap. And then that way I can have a lot more density to the trees. And you can also see that there is some randomness to the rotation and the scale of these trees. Now, having one tree is not all that exciting. We wanna be able to paint with a lot of trees. So I have three different trees here. I'm gonna add all three of those. And in the, the little slider that's at the bottom of each of those, that's the frequency. So if I know I want a lot less of this particular tree, but I want more of this particular tree, I can just drag that slider from left to right. So let's go ahead and just start painting with all three of those trees. So it's now gonna choose randomly from one of those trees to drag out and paint on my mesh. There we go. 
Now let's go ahead and uncheck the trees and let's drag out a few of the other items. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my little grass that I'm gonna have attached. And let's go ahead and paint that out as well. Now we've got that done, let's go ahead and do some rocks. So I'm gonna uncheck my grass and then I'm gonna add in my rocks. And here I'm just gonna have a few less of those. If we want a little more of a rocky area right here, we can add that in. And there we go. We've now used Polybrush to create this really cool little planet. Hey, hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.